Voss and AMDG and South Christian are all mission-driven organizations. And so when we had our mission, we were gonna meet that mission. Designing a building is a process that takes a rigorous amount of commitment. So a client, in this case, South Christian, what did South Christian bring to the project? They had a vision. They were moving buildings. What they didn't want to lose is this rich community, this embedded commitment to faith, to foster growth of students. You know I mean? Like, that's what South was about. So they were like, wouldn't it be great if we could design spaces that are totally different. South brought all that to the table. It's part of why this place is so wonderful. I just felt like we were listened to all throughout the project. Anytime we brought something up, even if we had trouble expressing it because we don't know all the lingo or all the contractual things or whatever it is, right? When we brought something up, they listened until they understood what our questions were and what our desires and design intents were, and they made it happen. Honestly, everything about the building is for enhanced learning, and it is for that kind of sense of community. Like, I think all the glass walls are a little weird at first, but it kind of makes you feel closer to, like, all the other classrooms when you can, like, see, oh, hey, here's this class working, and here they're learning about such and such. I think it has made a community that's already strong even more cohesive because we get to see each other in our strengths, and I'm, I'm talking about us as teachers now. You know, we went into this profession because we believe God called us to this, and he called us to equip students and to teach them about his world. And now we get to watch each other do that to a certain extent, and it really has improved the community and the cohesion, I think, among the teaching faculty. Oftentimes in our business, there's tension between the designers and the builders. And I think that kingdom perspective was one of the ways we really overcame that. And, and really, it wasn't an issue. Everybody knew this was a kingdom building project. Our tagline is building for life. It isn't just for today. It's uh, for today, tomorrow, our kids, our grandkids. We're here to give of ourselves, as we are called to do. We kind of parked the ego and the competition at the door and we kind of came in and says, you know, what is best for South Christian? Because if it's going to be good for South Christian, it's going to be good for all of us. So our process was certainly looking outside, then asking lots of really good questions of lots of different groups from grandparents to neighbors to feeder schools to students to teachers to pretty much every voice in this constituency. I was selected to be part of one of the small groups for the Visible Mission team, and mine, I can proudly say, was the group that actually came up with all three of the things that are in the building now. The tapestry, the pillar of fire down by the auditorium, and then the timeline, which is in progress. What really resonates with me now is when you walk through the school, it is being used exactly like we planned it to be. We know a lot about what kids need to learn right now, but we're not building this building for now. We're building it for now and, right now and the next several generations. You just feel a part of what's going on when you never felt a part of that before. And I think that has really enhanced our work here and I think it also enhances our relationships both with each other as adults but also with our students. This community comes together to do Christian education, and we feel like the spaces have already shown us that kids are able to glorify God to a greater potential than they ever could before. And that's exciting to us, and that's the fruit of this labor.